Hello, I'm going to do the Capricorn energy reading and this may or may not resonate with you. If it does, take the parts that do resonate. If it does not, leave the parts that do not resonate as those may be meant for someone else. I apologize for the lighting. It's dark out and I'm just trying to get the readings done. So I apologize for the lighting. All right, we have struggling with the Death card, and then we have the Nine of Cups. Very interesting. Death card and Nine of Cups. What do you need to look at? High Priestess and both of them are looking down. That's very interesting. Like if you look at the two of them, they're both looking down. Looking down. All right, and then energy coming in, the moon, so it could be Pisces, and then we have six of wands, overcoming a situation, but I feel like you find clarity in something. Um, I just feel like finding clarity, that's what's coming in for you. Okay, so let's get some Lenormand. The Death card and the Nine of Cups. Very interesting. That's very intriguing. We have the Swans. We have, oh, the whole deck is upside down. The Wishing Well. Look at that. So we have the, I almost feel like it's letting go of a, of a Nine of Cups that you had before. So, but I feel like it's a relationship that you thought was going to be the one. Like you thought a relationship, a connection with someone, whether it's a friend or a partnership, was really the one. But I feel like it turned out that it wasn't the one. And I feel like over here, what you need to look at is we have another wishing well. We have another wish. We have another dream, another goal. And then we have the star. I love it. All right, so let's get some more cards. What's going on with the death? This could be a Scorpio. Maybe it was a relationship with a Scorpio, sun, moon, or rising, or someone with those qualities that you thought was going to be the relationship for you, that you thought it was going to be that Nine of Cups relationship, and it turned out that it's not. We have the wheel. We have the higher fence, we have Taurus, and we have, I feel like don't give up on your dreams, right? Just because if one thing didn't happen the way that you thought it was going to, I feel like don't give up on everything else. Like there's new possibilities, like there's something better that wants to come in for you. There's something that's a better fit. It could be, I almost feel like you've changed a lot. I kind of feel like you've changed a lot. Sometimes it doesn't necessarily have to mean that the other person didn't work, but maybe the both of you didn't didn't work out. Maybe the both of you changed. Maybe the, the both of you are, are different and you're not the same people that you used to be. Like if sometimes if you're with somebody for a really long time um, and you just grow in different directions or you start to have different goals or you know things start to change that there's something that changed but still to to believe that there's still opportunities to come in right to not give up on your dreams and i just i think that looks so just how she's swinging on the swing and so lighthearted and and being playful and, and fun and kind of, yeah, new dreams. There's there's something new coming in for you. But it's definitely, I almost feel like you know that there's something coming in for you because both of them are looking down on this, right, at on the um, wishing well. But this wishing well here has the little crank on it, and so you have to crank the bucket down to scoop up the water and then crank the, do the crank to, bring the bucket back up to the top. So it's working on those. It's working on new 
goals, new, new dreams, but I almost feel like this is going to make you so much more happier than this did over here. I feel like, were you kind of forcing this one over here? I feel like in the beginning it was really good, but then I feel like it kind of started to fade away or it wasn't the same or there was some kind of change, right? There was some kind of change with this here. And I felt like, I feel like maybe you were holding on to it for a really long time or you didn't want to give it up because you thought you believed so thoroughly that that's the way things were supposed to be and they didn't turn out that way. But where one door closes, another door opens. And yeah, this is hard to give up on. It's hard to give up on. It's hard to let go because in a way you might even feel, feel that, that it was a failure, but you can't see it. Like, it's just, it's all about perspective and how you see it. Because you don't want to put yourself in this energy of saying that you failed at something. Something didn't work out, but there's reasons why it didn't work out. Was it because you were going in one direction, the other person wanted to go in another direction, or maybe you just weren't feeling those butterflies anymore, that the connection wasn't there anymore, that you're both kind of drifting apart because, you know, for whatever reasons, and that's okay, and maybe that relationship was only supposed to be X amount of time, but then it was to show you that that was good, but now you're on the next level, right? Now you're ready to start something new. Now you're on the, the next level, and that this wasn't going to be completely fulfilling, but that this one is, right? That there's new things coming in. There's new opportunities coming in. There's things that are even bigger, better, and better than you thought before, because it's almost like this is a new set because that's kind of the old you and this is the new you, you because you've changed, right? And you have to let go of that disappointment. We have the star here, which is those guidance and the wishes and the dreams. And I feel like it's, it's kind of magical for some reason I'm feeling that, that you're powerful and you have to take control of the situation. And even though it didn't turn out the way that you wanted to, but that's okay. But like, you have to look at it as this door is opening and it's going to be even bigger and better than it was before. So yeah, you have to go through the mourning, the loss of that, but you also have to take control of the situation and not let the situation take control of you. Um, because the death card also represents that transformation, right? That you let go of something that was holding you back and maybe you weren't fully able to blossom. Maybe you fully weren't able to be yourself in this situation. But this situation over here, I feel like you're fully free. That's what I was going to say. I was just looking at her face. I'm like, free. You're finally free to be who you are, who you were meant to be. And that's the goals of life, is to have that freedom and to be who you are meant to be and to not hold yourself back and to face those challenges and to keep pushing forward. And though, even though sometimes it's hard because you have all these changes and you're like, well, I thought that's what it was supposed to be. And life always throws you these curveballs and it's like, oh, wow. You know, when you look back, you're like, wow, I never thought that I would be at this point. But it's like if you keep pursuing and you keep going after those things and you don't give up, then you're always challenged and you're always feeling fulfilled, right? Because you're not feeling stagnant or just settling for something that you're going after it and you're making things happen. And that's how you have to look at it. That's what I, I've said before. It's that per perception, right, and how you see things. Do you see it as, a, as something, as a negative that in a negative way or do you see it as something as a challenge to challenge you and to push you forward and to strive for even better than what you could have imagined look at that we have miracle again <laughs> making a difference who's making a difference you're making a difference right you're making a difference because you're not letting it overwhelm you we have two wish cards and we have miracle this one may not have worked out but there's bigger and better things coming in for you all right, and then let's grab this one. We have healing, restoring hope. I love it because that's what this reading is about is restoring hope. If something failed over here, pick yourself back up and restore that hope. Don't give up. Don't say that, oh, that was my only chance. Say, oh, okay, that chance, this opportunity was good for a while, but there's something bigger and better coming in for me. 
All right, so let's just take these two because those flipped over. We have Goddess of the Moon, which represents, that's what I was saying before, is, is your intuition, that feeling, especially with the High Priestess. So there's a lot of feeling coming in here. There's a lot of knowing. Sometimes our like brain, our thoughts get in the way and it's like it's trying to say, no, you deserve less, you deserve less. But if you really get in touch with that feeling that you have inside and you know that I deserve better and it's all going to work out and everything's going to be okay that if you listen to that part and you focus on that part and not focus on the negative that it will be okay right getting in touch with your intuition that you know inside okay yeah this didn't work out but it's going to be all right and then we have action taking action that if you start to fall into the negative, how do you take action and pursue and go after and push forward, right? Not falling into the negativity. All right, so let's grab, let's grab a um, Wisdom Oracle. That one kind of all over. Observer. So we're just going to go with that. Observer. Looking. Oops, sorry if I mangled my microphone. Observer, seeing, right? Seeing things for what they really are. Seeing that this was not the right, op this, this opportunity is changing, right? Not that it wasn't the right opportunity because maybe there was some good that came from it, that it was good for a while, but that seeing that, okay, this is kind of expired, but I've got another one coming in. I've got a new direction coming in. I've got more coming in, right? And kind of stepping back and seeing, okay, this didn't work out, but something better is coming in. All right, let's get a animal oracle. We have bring your ideas to life, not giving up on yourself, bringing your ideas to life, making things happen, right? Just like with the miracle card, making a difference and making things happen. It's all up to you how you see it, how you handle it, how you deal with it, how you handle that situation there. It's all up to you. Let's do this one because I feel like it looked like the moon. So we have blue lace agate. Peace, gentle, new beginnings. I love it, especially because we have the fool right there. Blue Lace Agate is your supportive nudge in the right direction, whispering words of encouragement when you experience self-doubt. And that's what I was saying over here is having that self-doubt because that didn't turn out. Um, it opens your throat chakra and helps ease any blockages in your self-expression. So the throat chakra is for you to voice your opinion and to speak up and to let things go. Um, being seen and heard is a priority. Your feelings are valid and important too. Don't worry about what others will think. Release all fear of judgment and get ready to leave any thoughts of inadequacy behind. Blue Lace Agate encourages you to start anew because every day is a fresh beginning. I love it. Every day is a fresh beginning and that's how you have to look at it is that every day is a fresh beginning and <coughs> to not give up, right? miracles and making a difference all right thank you so much for watching as always stay positive stay safe and i'll see you next time